Hello everyone, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about HTML link parser. So let's begin. What is HTML link parser? HTML link parser is a preprocessor, which means that it will execute before your sampler. Now what it will do? It will parse the HTML response from the server and extract the links and forms from that particular URL. So now when you have all the links, and the forms so what you can do with that so there are two use cases for that one one is called spidering the other one is called dynamic data so what is mean by spidering so the idea behind spidering is that you can randomly click on different links which you got extracted using the HTML link parser and dynamic data is that if you have any data coming in the form of response then you can utilize that data in your script so you don't need to provide any external csv in that case so what are the test scenarios for example if you are opening a home page and now you want user to randomly open the different links available on that particular page so how you can achieve this you can achieve this using the html link parser secondly if you need to select the data randomly from the page, then how you can do it? For example, there are two drop downs and each drop down has a multiple data. Now what you want to do is that you need to select the random values from the drop downs so that you can create a combination of new data every time. Now let's open the JMeter and see how we can do it practically. Now in JMeter, go to the test plan here, right click on this one, go to add, go to threads, go to thread group, under this thread group, click on this one, go to add, go to sampler, go to HTTP request. Okay, now let's go to the browser and understand the scenario. Open the browser, now go to JMeter official website, which is jmeter.apache.org. Now in this particular website, you can see that we have different links here. Okay, you can see that we have index.html, we have licenses, we have downloads. So we have so many links. Now my scenario is that my users should come on this home page and they should go to or navigate to different links available on this page. So now I want to achieve this scenario. So in order to do this, let's copy this one from here and go to the JMeter here and let's create the request first so we need to provide the host or the IP and we need to pro provide the protocol here in the protocol section okay and I'm naming it as JMeter home page okay and I'm adding a listener here now let's dry run this one. So let me name it as um, demo HTML link parser. Okay. And let me drop this on my desktop. Um, it's like the desktop here. Right. So this is now on my desktop and it got executed successfully and in the response we got the proper data here so the request is working fine now what we need to do is that we need to click on different links after this particular request so let's add one more request here and i'm naming this request here as different different links okay and different links i need to provide some data here okay i need to copy the protocol and i need to create the host name here as well okay now if i go to the application here and hover any of the links you will see that these links are coming after apache dot org slash this means that this, these are sublinks. For example, if I right click on this one, click on the inspect element, and you can see that slash user manual slash this. This means that jmeter.apache.org 
slash user manual. You can see on the right as well, slash index.html. Similarly, if I hover any of the links here, you will see that they are coming after the host name, host name slash URL slash something. Okay. So now we need to add a preprocessor known as HTML link parser. I need to place this before this home page request because I need to extract all the links from this home page and then I need to pass the links here. So what I need to do is that I need to go here and here it was slash and the sub URLs were like manuals, guides, something like that. So now after adding the HTML link parser, what we need to do is that we need to provide dot and static. So what we are saying is that dot static means that anything after the slash, just give me that one which you have extracted through the HTML link parser. I will pass it here and it will generate the random links. It will click on the random links and that will serve my purpose. Now let's clean this one and run this requests and see what happens. So the first request got successful and the second request is also got successful. And you see that it landed on gmeter.apache.org slash api slash index.html. Although we haven't provided anything here, we just provided dot static, which means that pass anything after slash. So now let's I uh, increase the number of threads here, 10 and clean this one and run this again. So it will run the 10 times. First, you can see the API thing, then SVN index.html, then issues.html. Then again, it can repeat the same because we are doing it randomly. We are providing dot static. So there's a possibility that the same URL will open again. Now here you can see we have a user manual. We have api.index repeating again. Again, this one, we have mail.html. Then we have building.html. So we have user manual again. So you can see that this is how you can actually be populating or hitting the URLs provided on the page randomly. So it will serve the scenario of hitting the different URLs when different users are coming onto your application. So this was one of the scenario. Now let's uh, have another scenario regarding the forms. So let me click on the new one here. And for this, I'm using a Blaze demo application. So this is my main application and let me clear this one and enter it again. So what this application is do is that it is a simple travel agency which will book your ticket for the airline. So you need to select different cities from and to. And what you need to do is that you need to click on find flights. So it will provide multiple flights here. Now if I go back here and you can see that we have multiple options here. Right. So what I want to do is that I want to select randomly for each user so that we have a different combination of to and from destinations. OK, so for that, what we need to do is that I'm using the blaze meter here so that we can create a scenario. Open this one and I'm giving name it as demo HTML link. Parcel. Okay. Click on recording. It enter so that Blazemeter records the URL. Now select anything from here and also anything from here and click on find flights. Okay. Now stop this scenario here. You need to save this as a Gmeter GMX file. Click save. And we'll open this file into the JMeter. So it will actually create a basic scenario for us. And we will use HTML link parser. 
to make it dynamic data. So here it is, I'm pasting it here. So this is my scenario, this is my thread group. So these are two requests. First is blazedemo.com, which is actually hitting the base URL. And the second is that is basically to reserve.php, which actually is a post call. And this post call is sending two parameters. One is from port and other is to port. Now, here you can see that these values are static, which we recorded. But what I need to do is that I need to pass this dynamically from the list of the dot plan. So again, what I need to do is that I need to go add and I need to go to the preprocessor, HTML link parser, and I need to pass this one here. Okay. okay. And now what I need to do is that I need simply I need to replace this with dot dot static copy this one and this one. So when we hit the blaze demo, we got those drop downs, right? So if I hit this again, here, you will see that on hitting this one, I'm getting this drop down. So that's why before this request, I need to place a HTML link parser, right? So that's we are done with this one. And let me add a listener here. And let's run this. So first request got passed successfully and let's see what happens with the blaze demo.com slash reserve.php. So this got executed successfully and if I go to the request here, so we are seeing that we are getting some different cities in, in to and from. Now let's increase the third group here to 10 clean this one and see what kind of a combinations we will get here. So it got executed. So Boston, Mexico City to New York, Paris to Berlin. Okay, so you can see that now different data combinations we are getting. So we have actually make our data dynamic using the HTML link parser. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you have learned something today. If you like our content, then do like, comment and share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you once again. See you in the next lecture.